We're providing institutions with the ability to establish flexible grading periods in Calvert Teaching Navigator so that each institution can segment the curriculum for its unique reporting needs. What that means for educators is that when they run certain reports in Calvert, they can now view student performance and progress against a specific district-aligned subset of lessons over a specific period. Each grading period involves an accompanying date range for each chosen period. After selections are made, educators can see the new grading period by clicking on the course components and leverage two critical reports, performance and progress summary, as well as target percent complete. Our Edmentum curriculum experts have created default grading period breakpoints within the course units for typical school year structures, quarters, trimesters, and semesters, as well as preserving a full year option. Educators can view these breakpoints on the course structure screen in any Calvert course. If the default breakpoints align well with your curriculum plans for the school year, all a school administrator needs to do to benefit from this feature is set grading period dates from the administrator's setting screen in CTN. If an institution curriculum plans for a school year do not align with the default grading period breakpoints, we have included a solution for that as well. An institution can designate an individual curriculum administrator who will have the ability to modify where each grading period concludes in a course. That way the institution can be confident that the grading periods it uses are well suited to its academic calendar and the student's unique progression through the course. Grade period reporting. When I am logged on as a curriculum administrator, I can see where the grade period breakpoints have been added into my content by the Edmentum curriculum professionals. When I click here on manage my content, I can click on the course I wish to see. I can toggle on to show the grading periods or toggle off if I wish not to see them. I also have the ability to select by quarters, trimesters, or semesters based on what I want to see for my institution. When I open up my content, I can see where those breakpoints have been added in my units. If I choose, I can go ahead and slide this around based on where it will fit for my institution. As an admin, I can also go ahead and set up my grading periods. From the, for that, I will select the year. I will select which period I want to use. And then I can go ahead from there and populate the dates. So if I were going to use semesters, I could set up the date I wish my semester to start on, the date I wish my semester to end on, and the date I wish my second semester to end on. Please note that when you put in the end of the first grading period, so in this instance, the end of the first semester, it's going to assume that the next grading period starts on the following day. So here I chose February 1st. It will assume that the next grading period will start on February 2nd. I can go ahead and click Save. And that is the grading period that will be set up for my institution. When I am logged in as a teacher and using my grading periods, if I wish to see for any class what my grading periods are set up as, I will choose to view the course. And from there, I can go ahead and toggle on to show the grading periods. It will show from there the grading periods that are set up for my institution. Also, as an educator, I can run reports based on my grading periods that are set up. For that, I will click on reports. I will select my grading period that is selected. 
From here, I will see that it populates the start and the end date for my grading period. I can adjust that as needed for my institution, and I can go ahead and run my performance and progress summary and my target percent complete report based on the grading period that is selected. So I also have the ability as a teacher, as a learning guide, or as an administrator to select a different grading period I wish to do my reports for. In this instance, I'm going to choose second quarter only. The dates for second quarter are from October the 6th until February the 16th. What I can do is if I want to know for my learners everything that is within the boundaries of the curriculum for the grading period to find a second quarter. But if I had some learners that were finishing some of that work on say February the 20th, what I would do here is I would adjust that to be on February the 22nd or after and I could run the reports from there.